Chicago is the railroad crossroads of America, a place where commodities get handed off between six of the seven largest railroads in the U.S. It is also the Amtrak hub for the national network. As discussed in the previous video, Amtrak's Chicago Gateway Panel has explored the national impact of Chicago's railway infrastructure on both passenger and freight mobility. These videos provide a close look at how the ongoing reliance on century-old infrastructure is constraining our national transportation system. We'll be looking at three areas to show how old infrastructure affects capacity and how focused improvements can drive local, regional, and national benefits. Looking at a map of the principal trade arteries that move by rail, it's easily seen that all roads lead to Chicago. Union Pacific and BNSF funnel traffic into Chicago through several lines that originate from the central, northwestern, and southwestern coasts. Together with CSX and Norfolk Southern, which provide critical economic connections to the eastern half of the country, Chicago is the relay point for coast-to-coast -coast commodity flow. In short, all key railroad routes end or originate in this small area, with Amtrak Chicago Union Station and other passenger stations located at the top center of the screen. This is the heart of the rail system in the United States, where east meets west, and really for North America, since two transcontinental Canadian railroads have focused operations here too. Imagine what would happen with cars and trucks if the interstate highways ended at the city limits. It would probably take just as long to get through the city as it would to drive hundreds of miles across the country to reach it. Intersections are what make urban traffic slow, and Chicago is full of railroad intersections. As a result, Chicago and the national rail system is impacted by the multitude of junctions throughout Chicago, including this area, which used to be the worst junction of them all. This is the south central area of Chicago, the single largest railroad congestion point in the city called Englewood Junction used to be here. At this point, one of the two main railroad gateways to the east, the Norfolk Southern Chicago Line, crossed one of the busiest commuter railroads in Chicagoland, Metra's Rock Island Line. This meant that when Metra trains, showed here in green, were approaching Englewood, it resulted in delays to freight trains, shown in red, and Amtrak passenger trains, shown in blue. The result on the Chicago line was like a traffic light on an interstate, quickly resulting in backups for miles. An improvement specified by what's called the CREATE program was completed. It's called the Inglewood Flyover. This involved untangling the two corridors by building a bridge so one line simply goes over the other. The benefit is clearly shown here. Metra, Norfolk Southern, and Amtrak trains can all operate at the same time. This benefits Amtrak since trains no longer have to wait for Metra trains in order to move through the former bottleneck. This synchronized mirrored animation shows the difference a simple bridge can make. On both sides, you can see trains coming into the mapped area at the same time, with freight and Amtrak trains on the left waiting to cross Inglewood Junction, while the corresponding trains on the right are able to keep moving. The numbers below are quantifying congestion. In this comparison, the exact same number of trains are entering the area, but the reason more trains can be seen on the left side of the screen at any one time is because the congestion keeps them from being able to pass through the area and off the screen without delay. When the Inglewood Create project was implemented, it triggered benefits that are realized today and will continue far into the future. One of the benefits of the Inglewood project, known as P1, is it takes away a barrier so the next CREATE initiative can proceed, the 75th Street Corridor Improvement Project, numbers P2 and P3. With Inglewood now eliminated as a top congestion point, the panel identifies the 75th Street Corridor as the next area needed for improvement. Please click on the link below to learn more in the next video sequence.